The Settings section of Rubber Hose 3 allows you to modify the properties of hoses, the appearance of their controllers, and the labels of their layers. The first section allows you to get and apply all or individual hose settings. With a hose layer selected, click the Get Selected Hose Settings button and these values will update to match. Apply all of these settings by selecting another hose and clicking the Apply All Hose Settings button. All of the values for the selected hose now reflect these settings. If the selected hose has multiple bends, the slide, roundness, and direction values will all be pulled from the first bend. I can return this leg's hose settings to the correct values by selecting the other leg, clicking the Get Selected Hose Settings button again, and once again applying it. With no layer selected, all hoses in the composition will be affected. All of these settings may be manipulated by clicking and dragging on the numbers. To apply an individual setting, simply click on the Apply Setting button for that value. Just like the Get Selected Hose Settings button, you can get any one of these values from a selected hose by clicking on the Get Setting button. The roundness value will apply to any number of bends on a hose. The next section modifies the appearance of controllers, starting with the colors for their default state and stretch states, as well as the controller size. Choose colors that best suit your rig, select the controllers you'd like to update, and click the Apply Setting button. Or deselect your layers and click the Apply button to modify all hose controllers in the composition. Just as easily modify the size of the controllers by changing this value and clicking on the Apply Setting button. You can also disable stretch feedback by unchecking this checkbox, but this will only apply to future hoses. All of these values become the defaults when creating new hoses. If you'd like to return to the standard default settings, simply right-click in this panel, choose Reset Default Settings, and click Reset. This section determines the start and end controller labels and allows you to modify and even add custom controller names. Anything in this list will be available when creating or renaming hoses. Remove any controller labels by clicking on this button.